I was traveling from New York to my friend's beach house in New London. It was beautiful, it was summer. I got to my friend's house, we made dinner, and everything was fine. I went to bed, and at about five o'clock in the morning, I woke up, and I just knew that something was wrong. I have touch sensation, but I don't have temperature sensation, so if water is too hot or something is too cold, I can't tell. Anybody who has a spinal cord injury has to be very careful of pressure sores, bed sores, of sitting or being on one part of their body for too long. I found a blister on my bottom that was probably about this big. I just woke my friend up immediately. I was like, you have to check this out, something's wrong. We were talking earlier about what bed rest means because they say bed rest, but that I was definitely not on bed rest. I was literally in bed on my stomach. It wasn't like I was just homebound. I think I'm very in tune with my body. I know if something's wrong, what's wrong, where, but that's taken me 10 and a half, 11 years to learn and um, something that I still have to just be very in tune with. In that month before I was injured, I was, you know, look, working on my resume, I was trying to set up meetings, I was trying to think about where I would interview, where the next place I wanted to live was. The way that I've always dealt with things is sort of just to continue to move on and find a new adventure. I'm lucky to be active and to have the opportunities that I've had, but you know, that definitely doesn't take away from what happened and also from the caution that I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life, so. Mm -hmm.